Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I'm on the M5 stack mailing list and it amazes me how they come out with something new every week. This time it's the Atom GPS development kit. Let's take it for a spin. This kit consists of the Atom Lite, a powerful U-Blox M8030 GPS unit, and a TF card read-write module. All of this is packaged neatly together in the Atomic DIY Proto Kit for the Atom. The Atom is an amazing yet simple, inexpensive ESP32 development platform. It hosts all the capabilities you expect from ESP32. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, with a multicolored LED and two buttons. The Atom has these connectivity features a micro USB-C port. You can program the Atom, power it, and perform serial communications with this. There is a Grove connector that easily connects the Atom to an ever-growing list of M5 stack units. And it has these pins broken out on the bottom to interface with the prototype kit or your own breadboard style application. I'm pairing the Atom GPS development kit with this Atom tail bat. This is the battery accessory for the Atom. The Atom GPS development kit already has this Easy Loader demo program installed. You can download the Easy Loader demo here if you want to put it back on. I'm going to use Serial Bluetooth Terminal app on my phone. Connect via Bluetooth to the Atom GPS development kit. There we go. You see the time and the GPS coordinates displayed in the terminal app on my phone. Of course, my phone already has GPS and location sensing capability, so this Easy Loader demo is limited in this regard. Let's go to the M5 stack M5 product example codes repository on GitHub. Here is a simple but complete implementation of all the features of the Atom GPS development kit. Let's download the zip file of the M5 product example codes repository. Now we copy the M5 product example codes master folder from the zip into the Arduino folder in documents. In file, preferences, additional board manager URLs, you will want the M5 stack URL on the list. In tools, board manager, make sure you have installed the M5 stack board package. Now you can select the Atom under M5 stack in Tools, Boards. You don't need to install a driver for the Atom on your PC. Let's browse to the example sketch and let's upload it. This will take some time. We'll crop it out. We'll be right back. Well, darn if I don't get a compile error. I'm going to try commenting out the line in question here as it just seems to pertain to the light emitting diode on the board. Let's upload again. Well, darn if I don't get another error. But the program finishes compiling and it uploads. It seems like the sketch is running when we look at the serial monitor. Let's go outside and get a fix. But when I look at the GPS text file on the TF card, the longitude and latitude only have two decimal places. That doesn't get us very close. These show five decimal places in the serial monitor and in the serial Bluetooth terminal app. The lawn and lat variables are float, so we should be able to fix this. In the write log function, I'm adding comma five after the long lat variables in the print statements. Let's upload it again. There, now we have five decimal places written in the GPS data text file on the TF card. Let's go for a walk in the park. Okay, I'm back. Now we have something to import. This Atom GPS development kit is easy enough to use for geologging, any application where you want to record location along with time for reviewing later. We got to knock a few bugs out of the example sketch. 
I have a few ideas I'd like to try to expand on this. All right, stay tuned and thank you very much. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.